Hey everyone, in this video, I am gonna show you the complete data science roadmap after completing which you can easily apply for any junior level data science role. This is a 2 months curriculum guys and is divided into 3 main parts. As you can see on the screen, the part 1 consists of the python for data science and it is of for first 4 weeks we will start with python and we will go into deep python which we can use for data analysis purpose. After that in part 2 I have given a 1 week for part 2 in which we will start mathematics. You may skip this if you have already basic knowledge of mathematics. In part 2 we will basically learn probability and statistics with some hypothesis testing, distributions and some other statics and probability methods. After that in part 3 we will start with machine learning algorithms and have a brief introduction on all machine learning algorithms with practical implementation of all of them. So let's start with part 1. So in week 1 we are going to start with the introduction to python section. In this section we will learn some python basics. After that we will learn python list and some function and packages. And after that we will also learn numpy. Numpy is basically the library available in python for data analysis purposes. It is used for array generation, matrix generation and some mathematics calculation. So we will also take a look on numpy. After that we have intermediate python. In intermediate python we will take a look at dictionaries and loops and logic control like booleans, loops, for loops, if, else and also we will take a look at matplotlib and pandas. Again matplotlib is library available in python which makes it easy to create meaningful and insightful plots. It is used for visualization purposes and it is highly recommended for any data scientist or data analysis to to have a core knowledge of these libraries including pandas, matplotlib, numpy, seaborn. We will see that in further slides. So after that you will have your first project in which you will learn how to load, clean and explore some data and on the basis of that data you will generate some insights and answer some questions that are available in the project. So after project you have data manipulation with pandas. Pandas is another library used in data science and data analysis for analysis purposes. Pandas is basically the one of the most important libraries available and we have to use that for every you can say for every concept that we will use in machine learning we have to use pandas and numpy and matplotlib. So pandas is another most important library for data scientists. After having a brief view on pandas you have another project in which you will again load some data clean it and visualize it using matplotlib that what you have learned in your previous session and on the basis of that you will generate some insights and answer some questions that has been given to you in the project. So we have completed our week 1. Now it's week 2 guys. In week 2 we will start with merging data frame with pandas. Merging two data frame means we have two data frames which are different and we have to merge them to make them one data frame so that we can easily predict something on a single data frame and, and perform some calculations and operations so that we can easily generate some insights which we want to. In this section you will learn how to prepare data, how to concatenate one data with another, how to merge two data frames and after that you have a case study of summer olympics in which you have given some data and you will apply all your learnings and analyze the data by using the skills that you have gained in previous pandas and matplotlib courses. After that you have your another project on which you will analyze the data, clean it, load it and then use some previous knowledge and skills and then answer the question that are given in the project. So after that we will learn how to create, customize and share data visualizations using matplotlib. Matplotlib is a library used for data visualization in python for data analysis. In this section you, we will have introduction to matplotlib, we will plotting time series data, we will also learn how to share our visualization and our work with other people. So after that we have another visualization library that is highly used after matplotlib that is seaborn. Seaborn is another visualization library available in python for data analysis purposes. In this section we will learn how to create informative and attractive visualization in python using the seaborn library. In this section we will have again introduction to seaborn, visualizing two quantitative variables, customizing seaborn plots and much more. So after all this now we have some knowledge about how to create a data frame and how to extract information from it and visualize it. So after that 
we will have python data science toolbox part 1 in this part we will learn how to write functions so that we can short our code and we will also learn some error handling techniques so in this section you will learn how to write your own functions you will also learn about la lambda functions and error handling after that we will have python data science toolbox part 2 in this part we will learn basically about iterators and list comprehensions so this part consists of list comprehensions and generators and using iterators in python and after that we will bring it all together and use all our knowledge on a real world data set that is given in this section so after this we have finished our week 2 and now it's week 3 in week 3 we will start with some intermediate data visualization with seaborn in this section we will have introduction to seaborn we will see some additional plot types other than bar plots and scatter plots then we will customize our seaborn plots so after that we again have our project and in this project we will visualize some data and extract some information from that data so after completing your project we will start with importing data in python in this section we will learn how to import data in python from various sources such as excel sql sas and right from the web in this section we will have introduction and flat files we will work with relational database in python and we will also know how to import data from other file types after that we will have intermediate importing data in python so in this section we will learn how to import data from internet or from some apis like twitter api or some google map api and after completing this section we will learn how to clean our data in python because most of the data that is given to a data analyst or a data scientist is just a raw data so it may consist of some columns which are of no use and it may consist some missing values also that we have to handle it accordingly so in this section we will see some common data problems we will see some advanced data problems we will see what is linkage and what is text and categorical data problems and also how to handle them so after that we will finish our week 3 and it's week 4 and this is the last week guys so in this week we will start with working with date and time in python now there are many data sets that include date or time as an index like stock market data set so in this section we will learn about dates and calendars time zones and daylight saving easy and powerful date and time in pandas so how we can handle data set including date and time using pandas library so after completing this section we will again write functions in python and in this section we will learn some best practices to write functions and we will also see decorators and some advanced decorators after that we will do eda that is exploratory data analysis this is the most important skill that every data analysis or every data scientist must have in this section we will learn how to explore visualize and extract insights from our data so in this section we will learn read clean and validate our data we will see relationships among two variables or among two columns in our data we will see how different distributions can help bringing some insights into our data and we will also take a look at multivariate thinking after that we will have our last and final project in the data science with python and this is analyzing police activity with pandas in this data set we will explore the stanford open policing project data set and analyze the impact of gender on police behavior using pandas library so in this section we will prepare the data for data analysis we will do some exploratory data analysis that we learned in the previous section and after that we will analyze the effect of weather on policing and also we will explore the relationship between gender and policing so after doing all this in four weeks you have a complete sense of how python works and how data analysis can be done in python so week five is dedicated to mathematics only and on week five we will start our part two that is mathematics there may be some people who said that multivariate calculus or linear algebra or some hard mathematics is really important for machine learning and data science but the main mathematics which is mandatory for all of us who wants to become data analyst or data scientist is probability and statics so for mathematics i recommend two courses which i personally took and gain most of the knowledge from these two courses these are the two courses for statistics and probability so let me take to the side please so this is the course for probability probability for statics and data science by 365 carriers this is the best course that i ever had on probability and i can assure you that after taking this course you will have around 90 to 100 percent knowledge of basic probability or what you need in data science or data analysis 
and also the, the static scores of 365 carrier steam is also well and good and this is also the best seller of udemy and using this course you will have great insights and great knowledge of statics including some distribution estimator estimates hypothesis testings and everything that you need for data analysis purposes will included in this course so now here maybe some people ask that this course is paid how do we get it for free so guys i recommend you to buy both of these courses these are these are not so high priced but still if you are un unable to buy then just message me personally i will tell you a way how you can get both of these two courses for free of cost so you have one week to complete both of these courses and you can easily complete in four to five days and in the remaining two or three days you can easily practice some statics and probability question that these guys have provided in the resource material so let's back to our curriculum after mathematics done in week five now we are heading to week six in week six we will start our machine learning journey so for machine learning i have given three weeks that is week six seven and eight and in these three weeks we will start with the basic of machine learning this is the course that we will use for machine learning starting and introduction this is the beginner friendly course and, and i recommend it to anyone who is beginner in machine learning or want to know what is machine learning and what are all these algorithms like k-means clustering linear regression decision tree and all these so this is the introduction course that will teach you each and every algorithm in a way that you will just love the machine learning you want to dig it more deeper in this course you will have introduction to machine learning then linear regression in one variable and multivariable then you will also have some linear algebra refresher so you don't need to take some extra classes on maths for machine learning that is linear algebra or calculus type things and after that we have octave and matlab tutorial because this is the machine learning course but it is in octave or matlab it is not in python so basically what this course will teach is it will teach the basic concept that will be used for machine learning and it will teach all the algorithms so after that we have logistic regression we have regularization we have also neural network representation and introduction to neural network and this course is around nine weeks or 11 weeks this course is around 11 weeks but what these 11 weeks means is as you can see this that one hour to complete it means it is a one hour per week so you can complete it easily in around two weeks or maybe less than that now after completing this course you have a great understanding of machine learning data science and data analysis and you can now go for some higher studies like artificial intelligence or reinforcement learning or you can also start building your own models of machine learning and and you can also head over to Kaggle that is home for the data science and machine learning enthusiast. This is the website that provides many data sets for machine learning and data science practices and also has some competitions in which you can participate and win lots of prizes. So that's all for all these courses. Now here the main question comes that I have shown you all these courses are paid and how to get all these courses for free. So let me head over to data camp first. This is the course that we are going to start with data scientist with python it is data camp course and as you can see that all these lectures are included that i have shown you in the previous slides introduction to python intermediate python then a project after that you have pandas another project and you can see we have intermediate importing data in python data cleaning in python and we will go till analyzing police activity that is till tw module 20 after 20 this course will basically teach you about statistics and some machine learning algorithm but i don't recommend it after 20 because after module 20 you may be unable to understand all the concepts that are taught in this course or you may first need some basic knowledge of statics probability and machine learning algorithms then after that you may continue the rest of the course so in the next video i will show you how you can get this data camp data scientist course for free of cost as i can also show you that this is the paid course you can see that you have to buy the subscription of the data camp and this is i think most popular one and this is the free subscription in which you will get around one skill assessment and this is you can see that this will just give you the free 10 minutes and after that it will ask you for some payment and all this so that's my complete roadmap and if you like this video and you want to follow this roadmap then please stay connected with me and in the next video i will show you how to get the data camp course for free of course so that we can start our learning journey till then enjoy python